Hi, my name is Glenda and I post soap making videos every Thursday at noon central time. This week I'm going to show you the making of two soaps. They are both summer soaps and these are the embeds that I will use. Some orange slices and some strawberry pieces that I made with soap dough and with melt and pour soap. At the end of the video I will show you how to make the orange slices and I already have a video for the making of the strawberries which you can find link below where you can also find the recipe and ingredient links so I want to make two soaps in this mold and I was looking for a divider and then I decided to try this this is a fail 3d print that I was making for slab cutter tool or wire adjuster and it turns out that it, it almost fits, but I had to sand it a little bit because at the bottom it's more narrow, like most molds are. It's a snug fit, for sure. For fragrance, I will be using Orange Club from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and I'm going to mix it with Satsuma fragrance oil from Wholesale Supplies as well. Now for the second portion of the soap, I will be using sugar strawberry from Nurture Soap. So I'll be making two soaps out of the same batch. And the fragrances are supposed to accelerate. I have to do a lot of math to calculate how much I need for each layer. I'm going to do like a layer look so that it looks like if it was a cake with a filling in the middle for both of them so one is going to be the an orange marmalade cake and the other one is going to be a strawberry shortcake attempt well the goal is to bring this to emulsion this looks like it has reached emulsion so i'm going to split the batter in half and then further divide it by layers i'm marking the containers to avoid a mix-up now I'm going to add the fragrance to each of the bottom layer of the soaps and I'm going to stir them in. This was about two months ago and I will say that the fragrances are still strong in the soaps. Okay, I can tell that the orange one has reached light trace just from being stirred and that's probably the fragrance acting up. It looks like the sugar strawberry is reaching trays as well and also beginning to show some rising which I do have on my fragrance oil notes that the sugar strawberry was going to rise so no surprises there so you can tell here that the orange is still fluid and the sugar strawberry is pretty much solid so I'm gonna work on the fillings or what would be the fillings now Essentially, I'm just adding a small layer of the same soap and I'm going to color it red and yellow respectively and add a little bit of fragrance to it as well. I am going to save a lot of this as soap dough. I will only add fragrance to the portion that is going to go in the soap, not what I'm going to keep for soap dough because the fragrance will ruin it as far as soap dough purposes go. Just going to add some melt and pour. That's color yellow, which I think is going to help the effect of it, this being an orange marmalade. It's going to make it difficult to cut too though. So now I just need to measure the fragrance again and pour it in on each side. Now comes the fun part, which is adding the decorations. I made these strawberries out of a soap dough. I do have a video on how to make them. I didn't make these ones as detailed because they will, they're will they going to be covered. But just to sort of give a general idea of what it is. And I'm making sure that I'm leaving a space at the bottom edge where the piping is going to go. Okay, so now I'm going to go melt this to pour it on top of that. Once it was melted, I added some trial by fire mica and also added some glycerine colorant you know the one that is specific for melt and pour soap my only regret here is not adding enough because to me in the end it looked a little bit pinkish or more of a coral color rather than the dark red that it should be 
This is all I'm doing today. I'm gonna let it rest and do the piping tomorrow. So I came to check on the soap and now I'm able to remove the divider. It looks like it's going through a gel face. It feels really warm. I'm gonna cover it so that it remains moist so that tomorrow I can do the piping on top. It should stick anyway. Just making sure. The following day I removed them from the mold and I had prepared another batch of soap, a smaller one, to create the frosting or the piping on the soaps. This is the same recipe as my regular recipe, only that I let it sit for a while until it thickens up and it has a consistency similar to that of frosting. been a few hours since I put the um, frost in but I feel I need to cut it because the actual soap is hard and I don't want it to crack later orange slices, I pour clear melt and pour soap into a round cavity container. I color it yellow. In another cavity of the same mold, I have added a strip of orange color soap dough that I extruded with a disc that looks like this. Then I cut the yellow part into triangle shapes, which was like cutting slices out of a pizza. In hindsight, it would have been better to use a smaller mold to make the core part of the orange because here they don't fit back and I also need room for where the white portion is going to go. So I did have to trim the triangle into thinner pieces, make them also more pointy and shorter to make them fit. I noticed that these pieces are taller than what I have of the orange outside part. So I'm going to add two more strips to make this taller as well. Now it's time to do the white melt and pour and I'm going to use the same container that I used for the clear yellow melt and pour because I think uh, having some yellow in it will help it look more natural. After I melt it, I add some rubbing alcohol this is the 70 percent concentration and then i pour the white on it and now i'm gonna let it sit for a little while until i can remove it from the mold a couple hours later i did that and then i cut it in half then each half i'm going to slice into about i think it's about an eighth of an inch thick the soap dough peeled on the outside is still a little bit soft so I did need to make some adjustments on a couple of them. I tried to add some texture to the slices with the tool that you see on screen and this is how it looked like in the end. I was not very happy so I ended up drawing it with a pencil on each of the slices which took a while but I like how they turned out. Thank you for joining me and hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.